Uh, impact that we talked. So uh, you can see the Prime Minister waving to the the first passengers who are sitting on the train. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very, very uh, historical moment. And for anybody who has been to the Northeast, one can understand the significance of, you know, easier travel because Northeast has been often plagued by, you know, long distances, poor condition of roads, and uh, also the, the vagaries of the weather because the weather is such that particularly during the monsoon. Now, I think this is this is a kind of infrastructure that will withstand, as you mentioned, earthquake, it will withstand heavy rains, and Assam sees a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. So I think... Uh, a historic moment like uh, you were saying for the development and, uh, of the Northeast, for the people of the Northeast. What is the kind of socio-economic impact that this is expected to have on the common man in the Northeast? See, whenever you have a good uh, road connectivity, that automatically invites business interests because we saw it happening in when America was developed. I think the first thing that happened in America was development of highways. And from coast to coast, the way the highways were spread out, that brought in businesses. That's how interior areas were connected. So here also you can see that Northeast has a huge potential in terms of mineral sources, in terms of human resources. So when you have this connectivity, the business, because the first thing that worries any business is how do I reach there? How do I reach out to market there? How do I take produce from there, you know, to the rest of the country? So when, when this kind of uh, infrastructure is built, mm. it makes things easier for businesses to concentrate on other aspects. And this has been a problem in number of uh, areas in the Northeast, just for want of connectivity, whatever is produced there is, an, is not easily being taken out. This, this kind of thing can uh, solve a lot of problems. So when you have businesses, it is going to give local employment. I think that's, a, that's the most important aspect of a project like this. Mm -hmm. Because uh, once businesses come in, then small trade comes in, small, and that will see, you know, the feeders, feeder units coming up to, um, you know, feed the main business. So. There is, a, and this will result in a chain of economic activity. Mm -hmm. There will be a domino effect of uh, sorts in local economic activity, and this will give a boost to the local economy and create several employment opportunities. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Government of India chose uh, the 94th birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee for the inauguration of this project. Is this uh, one manifestation of how the Government of India is taking forward the vision of Atal Bihari Vajpayee for the development of India's Northeast? Yeah, because uh, you see, uh, high on the India agenda when they uh, came to power in 2014, one of the top priority was for infrastructure, infrastructure development. And w uh, the first thing that was, uh, was uh, I would say, ticked was having you know, better connectivity. Mm -hmm. So we saw uh, the road transport ministry taking up in a big way national highway expansion. There were two aspects to it. One, Exp I mean, improving and expanding the national highways that are already there, then going for new connectivity, and to foresee the kind of passenger and traffic load, which would require you know further uh, uh, 
uh, link, uh, linkages that were necessary. Those have been carried out in a very big way in the last four years. Mm -hmm. And anybody who has uh, traveled across the country uh, strategically in order to ensure that there is a seamless uh, road and uh, rail connectivity is something that is being witnessed in so far as this rail and road to come bridge is concerned. But uh, you know, the Prime Minister, before he became the PM, he was the BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate, had gone to the Northeast where he had promised that he will complete the unfinished projects. This project is something. laying the foundation for the future. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we know that, uh, Shikhar Ayer, that the However, the Modi government went a step forward and launched the Northeast Special Infrastructure Development Scheme, under which 100% central funding is provided by uh, the government of India to important infrastructural projects where there are certain gaps that need to be filled. So, does that show that uh, the government just, you know, uh, does, n does not, uh, you know, want